The No New Friends Podcast is brought to you by Sandpiper Vacations. For the best in vacation plannings, just visit www.sandpipervacations.com. Let them know that the No New Friends Podcast sent you. Here's the, here's the thing is is what we've seen so far in this in this show is the entitlement, the concussions, and the fact that he was gay. Like they they don't even beat around the bush. Like he, he, <laughs> like he is he is he is gay and he couldn't come out because he he was a big star and didn't want to ruin his career by coming out because judging by the show it sounds like it came in or came on. Um, but this is you know it it wasn't it wasn't a safe place for athletes to come out back then. What so? What year was this? Like 2015? I, I think he. When did he die? 2000. Did he I'll die? Look in my journal. I don't know. <laughs> um. Oh, 2017, he died. So when was Aaron Hernandez active? Oh, I gotta specify specify in football. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he was an uh, active hit. shooter in 2011. He was an active football player in 2010. Broadcasting from the Sandpiper Vacation Studios, it's time for the No New Friends Podcast. The podcast for adults who love to laugh at adulting, the good, the bad, and the funny. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, go! It's showtime. It's showtime. Like the guy said, we're the New New Friends Podcast, voted number one by our friends and family. We are the podcast for adults who love to laugh at adulting. Now, starting in a couple weeks, we won't be No New Friends anymore. We'll be Parents Night Out. But more on that later. You can connect with us. All of our social media links are right there on our website, NoNewFriendsPodcast.com. While you're there, check out our really sweet merchandise and join our clubhouse. Become a friend with benefits for as low as $2 a month. You can get all sorts of exclusive access, early release, which unfortunately I have and my wife doesn't like very much. We call that Tear the Scott. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to talk yet. Yeah, Alex, you're going to have to cut that. Maybe you'll have to re-joke that later. Um, and then you can be entered to win all sorts of prizes. We go live every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the YouTube. And then every once in a while, we go live on the TikTok. Every once in a while. No promises there anymore. My name is Scott. I'm the host with me, as always, my amazing cast of scumbags. But my co-host, the scumbag reselling hoarder himself, Chris. Where is everybody? I don't know. And that's it. Our, our, our producer, that's Alex. It. That's it. Yeah, I'm I'm here listening. Um, Alex, do you want to stick around? I uh, already left. Yeah, he's a he door wow. slammed. Yeah. Um, we've he got us Nick working remotely serious. Yeah, yeah. Nick is uh, in the middle of uh, he's in the middle of uh, Tropical Storm Helene. Could um, be dead by the time you're hearing this. Could be he dead. could be. He so could rest, be. Thoughts and prayers. Rest in peace. Yep. But uh, he's in Mexico uh, on vacation getting hit by Tropical Storm Helene. Uh I will be getting hit by Hurricane Helene tomorrow. So super excited about that. I haven't had a hurricane party with my wife in a while. So it's going to be bad. No, not yeah. for us. Not for us in Central Florida. We're just going to get the uh, the feeder bands. The what? The the feeder bands. The fetus bands? The, <laughs> no, the outside. The outside. Oh, I was going to say, if it's a fetus band, Florida can't do anything about that. They're like, no, no protection uh, against this. No protection against the fetus band. Just got to let it go. Yep. Uh, take it to West Virginia. Just we'll figure figure what to do later. Um, That's why we don't have hurricanes up in the Northeast. We can take those fetus bands and just throw them right away. <laughs> but we're, we are expected to get like some 55 mile per hour wind gusts. So, you know, no big deal. You ever um, think about attaching yourself to like a uh, parachute or something during those? No. Why would I do that? Uh, for content? Ooh, no, I don't mess around with the wind, man. It's uh, it's scary. I guess. Do you have to work? Are you are you off of work? I'm off tomorrow. It right doesn't up. look like we're For, activating. Because you are off or because? I'm already off. Oh, I'm already okay. off tomorrow. Okay. And it doesn't look like we're activating the hurricane team. So I don't have to worry about that because it's not a direct hit. Nothing's closing. We'll, we'll be okay. And then Rachel, um, Rachel's also off? Rachel is taking tomorrow off. Yep. Wow. So you might get off again tomorrow then? Doubt it. Doubt yeah. it. There's more of a chance if she wasn't here because then I could, you know. Uh, do the thing myself. It's true. But, you got to get yeah. a VR headset. I could, yeah. <laughs> so, your midlife crisis purchase. Yeah. Speaking of midlife crisis, Chris, I've been I've been having some back pain. Oh no. Uh, 
so yeah, it, it, I went to the chiropractor yesterday and I haven't been in a while. So of course I get the lecture of, you know, hey, you know where have you been? Your yeah, I hate that. Yeah. yeah. I go, that's why I go to a different one each time. <laughs> I, I need to, I need to. Um, but they're like, you're paying 60 bucks a month. Why don't you come in at least once a month? Wait, you have, you have a subscription to the chiropractor? I do. Yeah. And then it's, so I can go for four, four times for free for in the month. For $60? No insurance? Correct. Is this a, is this like your neighbor? No, it's it's a like a, a national chain. I pay sixty nine dollars a month. What? I get four visits for free. That's amazing. Any additional visit is ten bucks with insurance. Yeah, it's a national I, chain. Yeah, with insurance, I ha- I pay fifteen dollar copay each time I go. No, I don't use my insurance. Oh wow, wow. Yeah, it. I'll tell you off. It's called the joint. The joint. The joint. That's, way, that's that's a different establishment up in New Jersey. <laughs> yes, in the blue states, you can. Uh, yeah, it's a different <laughs> different establishment. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I go to the chiropractor, and they're doing the workup on me. And there's this one move where you lay on your side, mm-hmm. and you you pull your Dick out the 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 top leg up, and then they kind of like jump on your leg a little bit like yes. they put yeah you know what i'm saying right yeah, yeah the, the little back crack action yeah 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 exactly so right before she starts doing it chris i feel it i feel it in the stomach and i'm like oh god please don't oh please no. don't please don't and there's someone being adjusted right next to me downwind wow. of the way i'm laying and i'm like please don't please don't please don't so she does the the thing no and it happened you're old you're officially old. Happened. You're just, officially an old guy. Just let one rip. Uh, is she hot? Like, I I did not look at anybody. I was mortified, and so then I, clearly my doctor heard it because she immediately yeah. starts to ask me. So, any fun weekend plans? And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. no, no. I was asking, is your doctor hot? No, no, she was not. Okay, gotcha. She was not. Also, wait, who who is cracking your back? The doctor, the hmm. chiropractor. Yeah, let's call her a chiropractor. Well, they're called doctor. Why are they called? Why are they called doctors? I, I feel like that's like calling Jill Biden Doctor Jill Biden. Like, <laughs> well, she's like, a doctor. Mm, she got her doctorate. Sure, in like <laughs> school books or something. I, <laughs> why why are chiropractors doctors? Why do they call themselves doctors? Didn't they finish medical school? No. No, it's like witchcraft. Are you serious? Doctors hate chiropractors and chiropractors hate doctors because they yeah, because they go again. So it's like politics. It's like your doctors are left wingers and your chiropractors are the right wingers where it's like they believe in doctor stuff to an extent. So they're like, you know, eat your vegetables, uh, stretch, but they're also like, but also put three of these drops in each in, in your water whenever you drink it. And you ask, right. what's in it, you ask what's in it and it's, it's non FDA approved. So there's no ingredients list. It's something they made in their basement and it's supposed to cure cancer. So you get both ends of the spectrum when you go to the chiropractor, my chiropractor, I kid you not during COVID was selling gloves. He said, don't get the vaccine. Just wear these gloves. And he's trying to sell me $30 gloves that are germ proof. What? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I kid you not. This is not a lie. This is not some bit. He was selling $30 gloves. My parents come back and they're like, I might buy a pair of these gloves. He was really talking them up. I think like, just get the vaccine. Just get the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, COVID COVID proof gloves. Don't wear a mask. Don't get the vaccine. Wear these $30 gloves. And then you'll be fine. They have a lifespan of three months too, by the way. So oh. it's $30 every three months. You can't wash them. <laughs> Do you remember, like, old school COVID was so crazy. I mean, I remember, like, these anti-germ tape that, like, you can put on the doorknobs or whatever to... Oh, to dude, never saw those. Oh, we oh, we had to test these things because I opened up that family entertainment center. Right. And we were, get, like, we opened after COVID started. So we were trying to figure out how are we going to open with COVID. And, the, like, the owner wanted me to research tape that i could put on the door handles oh my gosh yeah to make it like germ proof yeah germ proof yeah it was just wash your hands like, let's not wear masks here in florida but let's buy germ proof tape right 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 that'll work my favorite um fad of the uh of the covid was the 
<laughs> the door openers that were all 3D printed. Do you remember you buying those like yes. crazy? The door openers and button pushers. So like when you yes. go to a Wawa, you can push with the button and right. then you can open a door. I I think I was gifted like two or three of those. The only time I ever held them was when I was gifted them. And I thought, oh, wow, this is a great idea. But you lose them just like you lose everything else. Like, right. I'm not putting that on my keys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the, you started seeing more of, uh, well, they, they redesigned the door handle so you could open them like like with your forearm. Oh, I like that. Of, I do like yeah. that. Yeah, because you had a little workout in when you're opening yeah, the door. Yeah, well. or the, the core. The foot thing, so you could pull it yeah, with I your foot. Yeah, I could use the foot thing because of my, my uh, injury. I'm handling that. <laughs> your injury happened way after OG COVID. Yeah, but it was gearing up. It was definitely <laughs> gearing up for it. It was definitely weakening. <laughs> it was weakening. I think from the vaccine. <laughs> Maybe. But, you know, the, it sprang down the Amazon uh, boxes uh, and mail in general. Right. And it was junk mail. Sure. sure. I wasted most of my Lysol on junk mail. <laughs> you probably I, I feel like you get a lot of junk mail. Oh, I, yeah, it goes right. Into that. I, I go to the mailbox and just go right to the recycling bin. I don't even some most of the time it's even bills. Like, I don't even care. <laughs> just email it to me. I'm not opening a letter. I'm not <laughs> risking a paper cut to see that I owe you four dollars. See, I don't yeah. trust the email. I think it's a scam. I think it's a phishing, uh, a phishing hack. I yeah, have that, have well, that, that too, because like I love the the non clever ones where they put the Amazon picture at the top and there's like three misspellings in the first sentence. It says, <laughs> please send uh, you, you owe seventy five dollars to Amazon. Please send it in Bitcoin to this address. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. The wiping down of the of the mail and groceries, because we wiped down our groceries. Oh, the wiping too. down the groceries. Yeah, that was the worst. Nothing worse yeah. than getting a Lysol wipe out for a, a banana. Mm hmm. Like it was it was the absolute worst. I remember going to the grocery store and this was when everything first got shut down. And so we didn't have enough masks. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And so I would I think, I, like I, would walk I around, think all of Florida did. <laughs> right. I'd walk around the, the grocery store with with my shirt above my face uh -huh. the arrows at jackie in, in 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 chat the arrows going down like you could only go a certain way down the grocery aisles uh -huh. yep um, yep but i felt like every time i went out of my house it was like the walking dead i never knew if i was gonna return no like, yeah in the walking dead like they would go to make a run and you never someone was gonna die and Absolutely. i felt like that was me we still every experience time, that in new jersey well, that yeah, that's just, just by living in New Jersey. Correct. Right. Now, when you go to a store and you see the COVID dots or the COVID arrows, isn't it, isn't it like like discovering like an ancient relic, like your Indiana Jones? <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, the relic. Like, and, and every single time, Emily and I look at each other, like, oh my gosh, it's like here from COVID. It was just like two years ago, right? But right. it's like it feels like it's so long ago now that it feels like it's like an ancient relic from the past, or like plexiglass up where a cashier yes. would stand and stuff. Yes. Like, oh my gosh, you still have this. Chris, when I see the 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 COVID dots on the floor, yeah. they're about six feet apart. I immediately go into the Indiana Jones punji stick routine uh -huh. from the stunt show. You know, with the with the with the sticks that come how up. Could and I, I not, do how the, could I not know that? Yes, I do the whole routine, um, the music and all. I sing it. Uh, well, it's and, even more rare for you since you live in Florida. You don't see that much at all. It's like <laughs> maybe some of the like liberal chains that had it. Right. Well, I'm sure Chick Fil A had it. I don't know, Chris, I'm still seeing dots in places that they shouldn't be in. Like, I'll go to Disney and like Disney, you know, Disney's been having robots walk across stage for 100 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'll still see the COVID dots on the that's, ground. I'm that's like, wild. That's wild. Like, don't you have people specifically paid to remove yeah, don't those? Don't you have dot people? Yeah, don't you have dot people? I mean, like, you literally take down all the Halloween decorations and put up the Christmas decorations in one night. We can't get some dots removed. The guy probably died of COVID because they didn't have that. Uh, <laughs> the dot guy. The vaccine, yeah, the vaccine <laughs> man. Dude. Uh, so obviously Sarah's not, Sarah's sick. She's not here. Nick's in Mexico, like we said. Uh, Chris, how's the weight loss journey? Well, I do want to just mention real quick that I am sick and I am here. You are? Yes. I don't think. Sick, I'm getting over a cold. I don't, it's not full fledged, but I'm, getting, have you, I'm definitely getting over a cold. Yeah. Have you ever unexpectedly missed an episode? I don't think you um, have. No, yeah, with the because of the baby, but you postponed it. I would I have postponed. It. We were yeah. ahead. We were yeah. one week ahead. Yeah, you I would have. I would have missed that one, but no, not unexpectedly. I always just drag myself here to do because I do it for you guys. I'm doing it for yeah. Scott. I do it and for look, you guys. That is no disrespect to Sarah and Nick who are not here. Sarah is no, really sick not. tonight. This is a bit, and Nick is not here. This is just, this um, is just a bit. Um, if it was a previous 
co-host on the show, it would be totally serious. Yes. Uh, I would not yeah. be joking. This is all a bit, though. Alex, you can cut that probably. Maybe not. Leave it in. I don't know. Leave it in. Leave it yeah. in. Leave Alex, it in. go with the flow. You do what you want. In fact, if you want to contribute to this episode, talk whenever you want. In. It's fine. Just, yeah, just pop in. Just, just pop uh, in. Cut us off. No big deal. Cut us off. Like, like a Jewish doctor? So, the weight loss journey. I'll tell you what. Uh, last week, it was the week of my daughter's baptism. I celebrated for the week. Because I was like, you know what? Uh, we're having... We're having wings and hoagies uh, the day of the baptism. So I was like, let me just cheat the whole week. So, okay. Because yeah, uh, we had to go to McDonald's and get those croc, the, the crocs at McDonald's. Have you seen those? Wait, they have crocs at McDonald's? Their, uh, yeah. Happy Meal. They're croc keychains. Oh, no. They fit me, though. <laughs> they fit me. <laughs> <laughs> so it works as both. Uh, not, not very comfortable, but. So so I had to get the, the croc keychain. And then, um, oh, man, yeah, I strayed, strayed a little too close to the McDonald's sun, if you will. And <laughs> yeah, so that, that week I gained 0. 0.2, 0. 0.2 ounces instead of losing. But... 0. 0.2 ounces? Yeah. Like I gained 0. 0.2 instead right. of losing weight. Are you that small that you can get on an ounce scale? Yeah, it's like, per, it's like you weigh like, you know, 170.2, right? So point two. Oh, okay. The point yeah, two. Yeah, okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, got it. Got yeah, it. Not like point oh two. Yeah, I'm, okay. wait, I'm waiting. I'm just waiting ounces. <laughs> like but 5, that's hold on. Three hundred and twenty-four ounces. But it's seven, if if it's one seventy-two point two, that's not two ounces. That's point two of a pound. Um, so that's no, two tenths ounces. of a pound. No, Jackie just corrected me. I, I gained two ounces. Yeah, so it's not point no, two ounces. You did. Yeah, it was. You didn't ounces. gain if your scale. Says yeah, one, goes up to sixteen. A, yes, there's ounces. sixteen ounces in a pound. Fourteen ounces. Yeah, and then yeah. But so, so I was like one seventy two point four. Then I was one seventy two point six. So okay, I mean two ounces. I but I feel like we're one eighth on. of a pound. It's not. It doesn't <laughs> read in a, scale, a digital scale. Doesn't read in pounds and ounces, does it? Yes. What? No. What, you, think, just, you think a digital scale just rounds up to the nearest? <laughs> no. Pound? I think it's like when it says one seventy five point eight. That's point. That's eight tenths of a pound. No. 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 How so, would that even work? So it would say why one seventy scale that just. Why would they make a scale in their own metric like metric system? <laughs> so if if okay, so if I weigh one eighty five uh-huh. and fifteen ounces, it's going to say one eighty five point one five. No, mine goes by twos. So it's like it's it goes by two, every okay, two ounces. Point one four. It's gonna say point one four. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. wait. So I if you made one seventy five. Uh huh. Point point one four. No, it doesn't do point one four. It's only the tenths place. So okay, so it's a, it's by the pound, not by the ounce. No, it's, it's not one ounces. What, I, what I do you know how to read the scale? <laughs> so you step on the scale. And it, and you weigh 172 pounds. That's the okay. The it was 172.4. Okay, so, so that's 172 and four ounces. No, it's it's a quarter of a pound. 172 you, point you or could, not. It's not even s- a quarter. No, it's and four tenths. It's you. No, it's not in four tenths. It's <laughs> tenths. It's tenths. one fourth. So you're right. You were right the first time. It's a quarter of a pound, but it doesn't say point. Two five or point two seven. Right. I know. I get that. I get that. But so your your scale reads pounds and ounces. So you're one seventy four and fourteen ounces. No, I was one seventy two and four ounces. Okay. Okay. And then after my binge week, I was one seventy two and six ounces. So I gained okay. two ounces. All right. All right, Alex. You can cut all the figuring it out out. <laughs> no, please leave it. In. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Not to, yeah, not to you. And I so, said it is. <laughs> so I uh, wasn't, wasn't too upset with that, but I did get sick. And listen, getting sick is not fun, but when you're on a diet, it's a lot of fun because you just lose your appetite. And I was eating like just a bunch of broth. And uh, so I would, I, I, I am now, I have now eclipsed. I'm down to the 171s now. Nice. Are uh, you a soup guy? Any, I won't say. Won't say. No, I hate soup. I hate soup. Oh, I hate soup. It's the worst. It, it reminds me of like it's. It reminds me of poor people food. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan like, probably what, eats a lot what, of soup. Right? Whatever you watch. Uh, whatever. You, 
whenever you watch Game of Thrones, like the pores eat the soups. Yeah. And then why would they be called soup kitchens? Oh, you see, good right. Point. So soup, good point. Yeah, soup soups are for for the pores. Uh, but Emily made homemade soup, which is different um, because it sounds fancier, I guess. <laughs> so we bought this immersion blender and she made this, this soup for me. So I was eating that for the last few days. And um, and today I had my first solid meal. I had I had a, a, can I say oriental food? Um, I think oriental is like you're not allowed to say that, but it, I got it. From no, oriental you can say Palace. like oriental decor. Yeah, but I think Asian food. Yeah, no, but the place I got the food from was called Oriental Palace. Th- that's okay. That's okay. Okay. I do not approve this. I feel dirty saying it, but I had Oriental. Or we'll get canceled. Tonight. Well, you you can yeah. say Oriental. Like I've got an Oriental rug. You just can't call oh, a person Oriental. Okay, so use that in a sentence. Use Oriental in a sentence. Yeah, how you're not supposed to. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you imagine is if if so Oriental rug? Could you imagine if there were other slurs for rugs? <laughs> Let's name a few. Like what? What would you uh, like an Eskimo um, rug? Eskimo rugs, good. Yeah, an Eskimo yeah. rug. I'm sure, let's let's walk the line. Eskimo. You say Eskimo. Eskimo. Okay, yeah. let, let's walk the line here. A redskin rug. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A red instead skin of a bearskin rug. rug, redskin rug. Um. Hmm. Trying to walk this line very carefully, Scott. Um, uh, you can find chat. <laughs> chat chime in. Oh, so uh, that would be fun. That'd be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny if that was the only thing that was like grandfathered into being <laughs> like <laughs> saying like slurs. You could have grandfathered you, in Rachel slurs. If, if it was, if it was rugs, like if, if you could, like, uh, Oriental rug got this far. So let's just you know, we can. Uh, <laughs> So, so like when, you know uh when you when you when you you know ding dong ditch or knock and, and go that would be grandfathered in where you could still say the n-word with the hard r at the end when you go ding dong ditching yes the way that i was taught was it was called n-word knocking what what <laughs> yeah that's what? what it was called it was called n-word knocking i have never heard that a day in my life i, I had that's how I was taught. It was called N word knocking. Wow. Yeah. That's um. Now we're just talking about rugs, so we're talking hypothetically, Scott. <laughs> no, but that's what- Jackie said that the the ding dong ditch uh, uh, slur was. That's what it was called in her day as well. Okay. See. And she's eighteen, so no, she's not. She must live in Alabama. No. <laughs> So um, we're 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 both watching the same uh, Vince McMahon documentary on uh, on the Netflix, and it's super fascinating. I love it because it 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 goes into old school, early mid eighties wrestling, which is what I watched, like mid eighties to you know WrestleMania five was was right around yeah, uh-huh. my time period, and I had seen one, two, three, and four, so uh, it was kind of cool to go nostalgic and see some of those old wrestlers brutus the barber beefcake and hercules and the red rooster jimmy superfly jimmy snooka like these obscure wrestlers that kids nowadays don't know and then kind of how hulk hogan came to be and how he was the face and why why that was strategic and why that worked and uh sterling golden yeah yeah yeah, sterling golden his original name (laughs) yep yep and he was a bad guy when he first started uh not a lot of people know that and and you know what the best part about the documentary so far is how good of a businessman he is by selling false information. <laughs> Who, Hogan like, or Vince McMahon? I, Vince McMahon. I, so speaking on the Hulk Hogan aspect of the show, they build the WrestleMania uh, one. I think it was, no, no, it was, I don't think it was one. It was uh two or three when, um, I'm to the giant face Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Three for the yeah. first, for the, for, for the first time. And they're right. like, but it wasn't the first time. It was right. like, <laughs> and then, then when and he was he slammed he never lost. the giant, right. He never lost, lost many times. Yeah. And then they, and then when Hulk Hogan slammed him, they're like, yes, Andre the giant has never been slammed. Right. Right. And right. Then he's like, and then there was like this montage in the documentary of just being slammed over and over again. Yes. The, the funniest part about this documentary 
is if you close your eyes and you're not watching, you don't know if it's a Donald Trump documentary or a Vince McMahon documentary. That, so true. So many compa- like so many parallels. They were just such like shady businessmen that just like lied and had all these like this just like toxic um workplace environment Mm -hmm. toxic just trail of of accusations following them the whole time yeah it's it's crazy good and i love the hypocrisy where vince mcmahon stole all these wrestlers from different regionalized wrestling associations and then made them into wwe superstars but then WCW comes along and does the exact same thing. And Vince McMahon gets mad. Pissed. 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 He, has, he, he has a gentleman's agreement with Hulk Hogan. Like, You're not going to compete somewhere else, are you? Yeah, of course yeah. not, brother. Yeah. And then, yeah, then he goes to WCW. What's but, so funny. I never realized that Vince McMahon. I mean, I, I know now, but when I used to watch, he was just an announcer. I didn't realize that he owned the WWF. Oh, yeah. See, so when I started watching, he was the boss. Like he was. Right. He was uh, like he was feuding with DX and he was killed in a limousine explosion, which I think you'll see later in the uh, later in the documentary. And then which was really, he was killed. I'm laughing. This is horrible. He was killed in a limousine explosion. And um, and then one of the wrestlers killed himself and his family. So the next the next uh, like in real life. Yeah, that so, was yeah, um, Chris Benoit. Yes. So then the next episode he Vince McMahon just appeared and they just just never talked about the well, explosion there's, ever there's again. So many things that happen like that. It, 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 this documentary, like they they chose the main heel that was going to fight Hulk Hogan was the Iron Sheik because everybody hated Iran at the time. <laughs> and then to bring Hulk Hogan back or something to make him the champion again, um, they they make Sergeant Slaughter like Who's an American an hero. Yeah, an American hero, hero, but they turn him into a, a Iraqi sympathizer. Yeah, <laughs> and then we we and then the Gulf War starts. It, it's like oh, Just such this. bad timing on so many on so many levels. So many, so many levels. One of my favorite things is in the beginning of the because just like uh, Vince McMahon, I, I'm sure as you see, loves talking about himself. Yes, and. And the, the first thing he says when he sits down, like, this is weird for me. I, I really don't like talking about myself. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, in, yeah. what, in what world? Right. Do you know what's really funny? So the one of the the, the executive writer, the, the Bruce guy that they keep s- snapping to uh, to interview, um, that's Brother Love. Like the, I know him as Brother Love. Is that Bruce Pletcher, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know him as Brother. In WrestleMania 5, he appeared as Brother Love. And, I love uh, how yeah, Bruce Pritchard. That's so funny. Yeah. Oh, I had no idea that was the same person. I, as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, my God, that's brother love. Yeah. Bruce Pritchard works a lot of uh, behind the scenes. I don't know if he he does anymore, but he's a, a writer and stuff. Um, the the part that I am reluctantly excited to get to is when he gets real creepy about his daughter uh, on air. He's uh, he sexualizes the hell out of his daughter on TV. Yeah, but she wrestles, too, doesn't she? She's uh, um I mean she's she, now she's married to the guy who runs it Triple H. Oh okay. But, but um but yeah so she was like she was a manager. I don't she's probably wrestled a few times but she was a manager and she was a general manager and they had her on the show and like there's these disgusting angles of like going up from her legs to her ass and stuff and her dad was like right in the room with her. Like it was it it's was smart. Like, it's smart. I, well, it, it's it's <laughs> it's smart if it's not your daughter. You know what I mean? Like Listen. it's like it's the president of the United States said, hey, my daughter's attractive. If she wasn't my daughter, we'd probably be dating. <laughs> that's why that's what I'm saying. Like this, this, this documentary, <laughs> it's very, <is> sim- very similar. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. It's very, it, take, it takes a, a, an insane type of person to have these thoughts and, 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 and stuff and like exploit anybody and everything by any he didn't care. necessary. He didn't care. Yeah. He didn't care. Ryan says there was an incest storyline that Vince wanted to do and she refused. Yes, she was. He was going to be uh, she was going to be pregnant with her brother's son. Yes. Oh yeah. My God. Yeah. Very strange. Very strange guy. But it does take strange people to uh, to succeed. Now yeah. we have this documentary and another documentary is now in the works. Scott over at Netflix. Uh, it's it is in the works. It is. Uh, I don't know how far along they are, but I, I did read about it. A P Diddy documentary. Do you know? Do you know much about the the P Diddy scandal? Scott? No, no. But you are know, you we serious? Were, we were very close to having our own Netflix documentary at one time. That is true. That is true. <laughs> 
Hey, it was that, in the works. That is actually true. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bit. To one it, person. <laughs> probably. It was true to yeah. one person on this earth. You don't know anything about the P. Diddy scandal. Well, this is the thing with the Team Diddy and Team uh, Usher or something, right? So, no. There's this um, – there are these rumors going around that P. Diddy was having these – sex parties right and that he was sex trafficking people and did you hear that they found a thousand bottles of baby oil at his house i did not find out they that. found, I did not they found that. That they, so little sidetrack they um they found a thousand bottles of baby oil and his lawyer because tpd is now in jail um they his lawyer was asked today why like can you please comment on why there was a thousand bottles of baby oil he's like well look and like, like any american he likes to buy in bulk and there's a costco right down the, right down the street so so he likes to buy in bulk i don't know what else to tell you so yeah he was buying oh, baby oil, just like every other uh, normal american that lives near costco I'm sure yeah. has a closet full of, of baby oil but i can't wait to see what comes out of this um oh that sounded really bad mm-hmm. it sounded really bad yeah. I don't think I can talk about it anymore. Anyway, we'll see what happens next. But yeah, that's going to be another really good documentary. It's almost like when you see these horrible, horrible things happen in real life. It's like, man, Netflix I can't is going to make a really good yeah. special about <laughs> yeah. this. I can't wait for the documentary. Yeah. Oh, my. Ev- everything. It's like all these tragic events. It's like. Oh, oh 9-11 documentaries. Can't get enough of them. Oh, and the conspiracy ones are even better. Yes. Yes. Like the ones, the, the bootleg YouTube ones. Oh, my mm-hmm. gosh. So good. Uh, the Boston Marathon. So uh, good. So good. Freedom uh, Day with Mark Wahlberg uh, of the Boston. The, what was that? that? They just came out with the Boston Marathon um, uh, documentary like last year or so. And it was yeah, like, I was like, I, I, it was so intense. I'm watching yeah. it like it's a movie. Like I have no idea what's going to happen. Like well, I know I, what's going to happen. And it was still I know. so good. Like we like we leave off. If there's six episodes, we're off episode five. We're going to bed. I'm like, Emma, I can't sleep. Are they going to catch him? <laughs> Right. And like and and I'll stay away from the Internet, too. I'm oh, like, yeah. You I, I can't look it up. I, I need to be I need no. to be surprised. It's so weird that, that like Titanic, too. I'm like, I can't. You know what happens at the end? I, uh, I'm watching a 9-11 documentary and like the first plane. It's like, holy shit. This is horrible. I was like, holy shit. They just hit, a, hit the second tower. <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> it's, it's like, then, then, then they blow up building seven didn't even get hit by a plane and then that thing just falls mm-hmm. just as surprising yeah it's um it, i don't know it's just i guess it's the sick and twisted part of uh like i i am very anti-murder i can't even kill a bug but i love listening to murder podcasts and watching murder documentaries and i like as, as soon as there's a murder case uh that's like says i guess you know kind of compelling because this person might have done it that person wrongfully doesn't mm-hmm. oh, man can't wait for a podcast about this can't wait for a show about this <laughs> right i don't know does that make us bad people i don't think so maybe i don't think so maybe i don't think it does chat what do you think jackie says the nxvim documentary was filmed in my town i'm gonna have to look up what that means because i think it's roman numerals but i can't count that high no i definitely cannot no xxi i think is the most i can do which is like seven <laughs> so I'm also watching it's uh, Ryan Murphy's uh, it's American athlete story or something like that. But it's the Aaron Hernandez story. And uh, they did the uh, OJ one. The same people that did the OJ one. Yes. Yes. And I'm watching this because of the Nexum. Oh, my God. That Nexum documentary was fantastic. Oh, I got to watch that. that it's one. it's it's a it's a cult, but it's. A scam cult. I think. I think this is the one. And is this the one with like all the celebrities that were in it? And then uh, uh, the one really famous chick. But then there was like a sex ring and all that. Um, yeah, I thought it was a front organization for criminal activity. I think that's what Nexum was. That's yes, really yeah, good yeah. I'm gonna name my next kid that Nexum. Yeah, ne- the Nexum one's really good. That's what the the, the chick from Star Wars Episode Two is in it. Um, it's in your hometown. Holy crap! Yeah, it's such a good. Um, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Love is one is probably one That's of my one favorite of my favorites ones. for sure. Yeah. When oh they're wheeling God. her yeah, Allison Mack. Yes, yes, yes. When, but when they're wheeling Mother God through uh through the hospital and she's like Smurfette. Oh that the was best. horrifying. Oh. Uh, and the opening scene when she's just dead in her bed. Yeah. Yeah. Um <laughs> So we're watching there. I'm watching this Aaron Hernandez uh, show and I, it, only two episodes have been out and I'm watching it because my wife was like, um, hey, uh, there, there's this guy that she knows. His name is Tony Esbeck. He's been in a bunch of Broadway uh, Broadway shows and he's on her Facebook feed in a 
Florida Gator shirt. And she's like, he went to NYU. Why is he wearing a Gator shirt? And uh, and so she reaches out to him. She's like, hey, why are you in a Gator shirt? <laughs> well, because he's playing Urban Meyer in uh, this this show. Oh, no way. So I'm like, OK, well, now I have to watch it. I, I wish Nick was here because Nick would love this, not because it's about football, but because there are a lot of penises in this show. Like BBDs penises? all over the place. First of all, is it penis or peni? Peni. Peni. The, lots of penis. And penis. lots of schlongs. What do they do? Are they just kind of like, are they just there? Some of them are there. Some of them are being used. It's, it's. You can use them in a show like that? Well, used not in the way that like. Is it like soft porn? Um, really? Maybe. Semi-soft. Yeah. Um. But, you know, in the, in the documentary that came out, uh, the the true sports story or whatever on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. The one that said that Aaron Hernandez killed people because he was gay. Well, OK. So I don't know that they were saying that he killed people because he was gay. I think, I think one saying person that, literally said that he killed people because he's gay. Not that gay people kill people. I think that's but what that he said. He couldn't come out. Documentary. He could, oh, wait, I think it was an Alex Jones documentary I was watching. It may, may, it may have been the Alex Jones documentary. The, Here's the, here's the thing is is what we've seen so far in this in this show is the entitlement, the concussions, and the fact that he was gay. Like they they don't even beat around the bush. Like he, he. <laughs> like he is he is he is gay and he couldn't come out because he he was a big star and didn't want to ruin his career by coming out because judging by the show it sounds like it came in or it came on. Um, but this is you know it it wasn't it wasn't a safe place for athletes to come out back then. What so? What year was this? Like 2015? I, I think he. When did he die? 2000. I, did he I'll die? Look at my journal. I don't know. <laughs> um. Oh, 2017. He died. So when was Aaron Hernandez active? Oh, I gotta specify. Specify in football. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was an active uh, shooter in 2011. He was an active football player in 2010. 2010 was his pro year or his uh He was college? drafted in 2010. Okay. Um, and but he yeah, zoomed into a star in 2011. That's from Google. That's weird. 2010s and in the early 2000s, he, you couldn't you couldn't come out. So they had that an gay football player, Michael Sam. He, Remember him? Michael Sam was not in the NFL yet, was he? Yeah, and he got blackballed as soon as he came out. Yeah. Now, I don't think he got blackballed because he was gay. I think he got blackballed because he wasn't very good. He came out in in 2014. So yeah, and Aaron Hernandez was, was came after, out in. Yeah, yeah so Aaron Hernandez came Hernandez's, first. Yeah, to the NFL, and then he played. So Michael Sam, and then there was um, the gay basketball player Dwight Howard. No, Whoa. no, uh, John Amici. No, Jason Collins. Yes. Yeah, 2012, 2013 season. So still right around, uh, and the, and he was blackballed too. Yep. Um, not a really good term to be using. So. <laughs> but also they weren't very good at their sport. It, it, I don't think it had anything to do with them being gay. But also, I don't know that they were getting if they were getting blackballed because they were gay. I don't know that it was necessarily because they were gay. I think it was because now there was a circus associated with it. I'm sure they got plenty of blackballs by being gay. That is true. That is true. Now, but you're talking about reason. like like turning the other cheek to them. They probably got a lot of that too. <laughs> but as far as them being neglected for their talent, I think that was the main reason because they didn't have it. They didn't have any talent. No, no, no. Michael Sands, Jason Collins, not good players. There's another gay, uh, Carl Nassib, on the Raiders. Super yeah, gay. But, but now players are coming out before. He was pretty good. Yeah, they're they're coming out. Nobody cares anymore. Um, I don't think that's true necessarily because I don't think the viewers at home care. I think yeah. some do, but I think it's these old white owners that might care. Well, yeah. The, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. So it is sad. It is sad to see, but not, it's not sad to see people coming out. I just want to specify that. It's sad to see that people are afraid to come out. Correct. Um, but anyway, yeah, interesting. I, I, uh, for the record, I want the record to st show that I don't think Aaron Hernandez killed people because he was gay. I agree. I don't. Th I think. I think gays are less likely to kill. So I think he was kind of the minor minority. Well, gay. he he was a minority, but he never came he out. He never came out, so he had to hold that in. He had to hold who he truly was in. Yeah. So did he kill people that, because he was gay? No. But did he kill people because he was depressed? 
because he couldn't come out and also I don't the I don't think depressed people just go and kill people though like I don't think that's a thing I don't I, think that I think there's a lot of things that that were messing with his head concussions I think, I think mostly concussions depression drugs right. from I think concussions, all of that yeah. led to uh, him murdering people I think CTE might have been a huge factor I, I think uh, so too CT, CTE ESPN will be doing a report on this uh, soon hopefully did you know that Antonio Brown started his own company called CTE ESPN no yeah great. It's great. Fantastic. Anyway, so Aaron Hernandez, yeah, definitely didn't kill people because he was gay, but might have been gay because he killed people. No, wait, I said that the total wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, Alex, cut that. Um, because he was sad that he couldn't come out. That's yes. I, that's why I just don't think it's realistic that he was oh man, I can't come out. Let me go kill this guy. Okay. You know what I mean? Take put it that Do way. Do you think, think that, that mental way. health can lead to committing crimes? I I don't think I don't think that. That mental health as far as depression and or anxiety about something would push someone to kill someone else. I think it would push someone to be destructive to themselves, but not I, – I think he killed people because he was affiliated with people that killed people. No. I, I think, I think that's, what, like, <laughs> that's, like that's why That's why I hated that documentary that came out a couple of years ago because like, they're like – because they're like – He's gay, and he's that's why he's killing people. Now I think it might be because his best friend also kills people. Like I think that might be the leading factor is that you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Uh, I don't think that his <laughs> sexual no, right. I, led to I'm it. not saying that anybody who has mental health issues are going to go and kill people. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I think a lot of times people who kill people have a mental illness. I, I, I think that you're right, but I don't think I don't think that the mental illness that and I don't want to I also don't want like, so now, now we're going into mental illness. I don't want people to think that we think that mental Ill, being gay is a mental illness. <laughs> no, I don't. Like, no, no, there was I, a lot I, like, going on with Aaron guess, Hernandez. I, it was the hitting on the, getting hit in the head. Yeah. Concussions. Yes. Being gay and not being able to come out. Drug abuse. Uh, and mental, all separate issues here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. some of them linked. I don't know. I'm not Aaron Hernandez. Yeah, I don't know. When I see these mass shootings and like serial killers, I actually, actually, some of them were gay. Huh? Jeffrey Dahmer was gay. No, no, it's not. I, I refuse to believe it, Scott. I refuse to believe. I it. don't no. believe it either. I don't think. But I think that, it, as Jackie said, Aaron Hernandez was the perfect storm. Drug yes. abuse, concussions. Let's call it the, the imperfect storm. The imperfect storm. Uh, mental mental illnesses, uh, abuse, mental abuse from his father. He had a lot going on. Yeah. I think that, but like I said, I think that all of the things you listed would go above being gay and not being able to come out to, for motive to kill someone. Like, <laughs> of you ever, course. Like, have they ever read a manifesto of somebody who killed someone or killed, did a mass shooting and be like, I was so mad that I couldn't come out and just <laughs> killed everyone that I saw? I just I, I think I think it's more of a uh, I don't think that can I don't think that motivates people to kill. I just don't. I I just don't. I just don't think. It I don't know. I You know, because I, I if 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 I if I really, you know, die on this hill, you guys will not let me hear the end of it. You're going to say, oh, he, Scott thinks that gay people are sad and therefore they kill people. No, right. that's, that's not, not what I'm trying saying. to steer this in what, the opposite direction. What I am saying is that if you cannot be yourself. For whatever reason, because you're gay, because you want yeah. to be an, uh, a singer and your parents are, yeah. uh, want you to be an athlete, you cannot be yourself for any other reason. That leads to some mental health illnesses. That leads to some mental health issues. Some of them are mild mental health issues that are not going to make and you. You're saying others are murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that some mental health issues can lead to criminal activity. Now what and are it you, could be the because you were gay. You, you couldn't could be a doctor, out. and now you're you're diagnosing <laughs> people now. Uh, anyway, you ready to play Jersey Man, Florida Man? More ready than you'd ever imagine. <laughs> Where the flipping a fan boat, a crash in a truck. These states are filled with people who suck. So it's time for us to play New Jersey Man versus Florida. Every week, Game Master Ryan brings us two news stories. One is from Jersey, one is from Florida. It's up to us to determine which one is which. Take it away, Ryan. Hey guys, this is Ryan, coming to you from the No New Friends newsroom located this week 
you know, I'm just not feeling it today. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to find a way to phone it in this week. Well, maybe there's a way that requires no talent and really no hard work whatsoever. Oh, wait, I have an idea. It's been quite the show. A lot of stuff's happened, so nothing can stop this big boy from recapping the day. Ryan. <laughs> okay, so this seems easy enough that any moron could do it. So, I only have a couple. That's what Chris says every time he does this segment. Last week, Sarah said that she has Lewis's name in her phone as Spanish Crusader. In my phone, he's listed as Reasons for Trump's Wall. And I'm just noticing I don't have Sarah's number. Then again, they have names now. They stopped numbering them back in like 1944. <laughs> also, Sarah was mistaken for a sibling on her daughter's open house. Rachel's often mistaken as Scott's live-in caretaker. Changing the diaper is not a sexual innuendo in that house for sure. Chris said that he and his wife never go to bed angry at each other. Emily hasn't slept since December of 2021. Scott said his dogs are getting old and he has to carry them up the stairs. The bed for the dogs is downstairs, so he must be carrying them upstairs for his own benefit. <laughs> Nick said they sent his dad out to the ice machine so they could decorate the room for his 40th birthday. Poor Darren, his dad went out for milk and cigarettes and it took him 21 years to find his way back home. <laughs> Sarah said she has a scar on her hand from the spindle incident. As a Christian, Sarah, I'd like to ask you, how do you like it? Nick said it's his birthday month. I thought that was all the month of June. Geez, it gets two months? When do I get a month? Anyways, his birthday was Saturday, and you know they did all sorts of kinky stuff in the bedroom. During Sean's birthday, Nick says he makes Sean's fantasies come true. So he breaks out the crutches, the wheelchair. Sometimes he acts like he's in a coma, which is how Scott lost his virginity. Speaking of Nick, he's not here this week. He's vacationing in Mexico. That man went from one place that eats cats and dogs to another. And finally, during the cliff notes, Chris made fun of Scott, saying his weight has went up since the age of 30. Chris, you're about to turn 30. It's time to start reinforcing the floors. Well, Chris, sorry for stealing your segment this week. I know it's probably got your blood pressure up a little bit, but you'll blame that on white coat syndrome. You know, Scott's blood pressure gets up every time there's a black person around. He calls it white hood syndrome. So while Chris takes his Ozempic shot, let's get into this week's Florida man or Jersey man. And for our first story, a man suffocates a woman to put her, quote, out of her misery, Cher said. And for our second story, a tennis coach wrote poems and showed naked pictures of himself to a teen during lessons. Okay. Chris, what do you think? Uh, the tennis one showing pictures. Uh, that's New Jersey. That was my gym teacher. <laughs> uh, it's, I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to say the tennis coach, definitely Florida. I feel like pedophiles are, are a Florida thing. Yeah, but I feel thing. like putting people out of their misery is a very Florida thing. You have a lot of people that need to put out of their misery. That's true. That's true. All right, let's find out the answers. So our first story is from Florida, where an 80-year-old Florida man is arrested after deputies say he suffocated a woman. During the investigation, deputies learned that the man suffocated a woman in her sleep to, quote, put her out of her misery, as he and the woman were undergoing medical and financial hardships. This reminds me of what I tell my wife. I say, if I'm ever suffering, smother me with your boobs, and we'll call it a motorboating accident. So that means our second story is from New Jersey, where a coach who teaches private and group tennis lessons is arrested after he was accused of showing off naked photos of himself to a 15-year-old girl. He was also accused of placing numerous letters, cards, poems, and gifts on the girl's tennis bag over the two-year period. You might not know this about me, but my favorite poet is from New Jersey. Let me just recite a few lines of a poem. When we were little, normal kids would build Lego towers. Nope, not me. I would sit at home and conjugate for hours. None of my friends would ever get to see me. But I didn't care. That type of stuff relieves me. Real powerful stuff there. Well, wait. And in other news, a Chinese zoo is admitting that they use painted dogs in their panda exhibit instead of pandas. If you haven't seen the pictures of this, you need to go look this up. In Scott's house, he dresses his dogs up as schoolgirls. Anyways, that's it for me this week, guys. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you so much, Ryan. Um, that poet, of course, was Chris Yob and the lyrics of Let Me Conjugate on Your Face or whatever it's called. Uh, I love the way you conjugate. I love the way you conjugate, too. Thank you. For people watching on YouTube, I did just pull the picture up of the panda dogs. And it's, 
<laughs> they're all just Shibu Inu. <laughs> they're, they're obviously, and they said, "What is this in China? Like where pandas are native? Like people aren't going to sniff this out?" Literally, no pandas attack. everywhere. <laughs> That's, I, I, I guess it's more rare to see dog pandas. <laughs> I guess so. Wow, that like that one in the middle, definitely a dog. I, I don't even think pandas' joints bend that way. <laughs> Um, How do they explain the tails? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a video. Hold on, uh, I'm sorry, we have to watch this. That's so funny. And everybody, you can watch us uh, record live every single Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. It's a lot of fun. You can. Uh, you, they were in the witness <laughs> protection in Ohio. It, it says the zoo. It says the zoo said they did. They had no wrongdoing because they clearly stated they were panda dogs. <laughs> Uh, oh, so there man. you have it. That was that was pretty great. Not as good as Mu Dang though. Have you seen Mu Dang yet? No. Uh, it looks like me, but a little hippo. It's oh little, yeah, it looks like our dog yeah. Ruby. Oh, we keep yeah. yes. I call our my ba- I call my looks. I call my daughter Mu Dang now. She's getting fat, man. Oh, okay. She's fattening up. Starting them early. Yeah. She can barely walk. You don't have any cliff notes. I so don't. I do. So if you guys okay. want to listen to some cliff, cliff notes, rewind like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Those were really good, Ryan. That was really funny. Yeah, you didn't really funny. Write them, but excuse me. Could you imagine if I sneezed so hard that because I'm fat, it stopped my heart? Oh my and, god! Like I died on YouTube. I never gave it a thought, but <laughs> how? I mean, how cool would that be? Like I know I'm gonna tell Rachel start throwing like, pepper in the room. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like make pepper. sure if that ever happens. Seriously, if that ever happens, make sure you clip it and put it out yeah, as a oh, short. Absolutely, absolutely. You, you'll you'll make billions. Sending them to China. Sending them to China was bad in hindsight. I won't put this as I don't have any cliff notes, um, but I would if I did a cliff, I, if I did write a cliff note for that, it would be something like, um, you know, you think it's a bad thing that these dogs were faked as pandas, but jokes on you because they're the only safe dogs in China right now. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Chris, where can our listeners find you? You can find me on Instagram at Chris Yob and on TikTok at Chris Yob NNF. And don't forget to check out Sandpiper Vacations, www.sandpipervacations.com. Uh, get a hold of Nick. He's the best in vacation planning. Uh, some show notes, if you will. Next week is our episode 250 with special guest comedian James Yon, who is always on for our uh, Every 50 Milestone episode. Uh, then on October 9th, we will be recording our final episode of uh, uh, No New Friends. Uh, and then on October 16th, our final, final New New Friends episode where everybody is invited. All of our listeners are invited to come on, ask us questions, uh, share their favorite moments, make fun of us. I don't care. Uh, just join us. Uh, we'll, you'll have to be a member of our Discord, not our Patreon, but our Discord, which is free. Just go to our website, prompts you right there, and we'll put the link in uh, the Discord. And then on October 23rd, that's when we'll be recording the very first episode of Parents Night Out with a bunch of surprises. It'll be a lot of fun. So make sure you check that out. You can connect with us on all of our social media. It's right there on our website, newfriendspodcast.com. While you're there, check out our really sweet merchandise. Join our clubhouse. Become a Patreon for as low as $2.00 per month and if you listen to us on spotify or apple or anywhere else you listen to your podcast and take a rating please give us a five star rating and review that really helps us out on behalf of game master ryan our producer alex nick sarah chris i'm scott thank you so much for listening we'll see you next time where's the bye-bye bitches guy no new friends just the old and the bold in the world of kiss we're the ones who hold scott chris sarah Where adulting unfolds, where adulting unfolds.